you how to make my raspberry coconut bars up next on the Trip Park Cooking Show. Jolene Sugar Baker, yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, you gotta meet this girl. She's got gossip and food and lots of news. Dropping in on neighbors is what she do. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. Passion at the park, passion at the park. She's Jolene Sugar Baker, yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's time for fall, and people are hustling and bustling and doing all sorts of things, and sometimes they like to go out to dinner because they're just too busy to cook, and you know, you go out with your friends, and then later you're like, Dessert. What are we going to do about dessert? And then they suggest, let's stop off at the grocery store and get a dessert. And you're like, mmm. Well, not really, because, you know, I do like a factory pound cake, just like the rest of you every now and then in a pinch. But sometimes it's great to have a few baked goods lying around that you can fix in a jiffy when friends come over for coffee. And today's recipe is one of those. And it uses raspberry preserves and coconut. It's my raspberry coconut bars. And they're so great with coffee and they're so great to make this time of year. And I'm going to show you how to make them up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my raspberry coconut bars is really simple. And you could use one of those little pastry cutters, or you could also use two knives. But today I'm going to use the mixer and maybe a spoon to make mine because it's so much simpler. I've got a cup of all-purpose flour right on into the bowl. And I've got one teaspoon of baking powder. That goes right on in there too. Now I've got, uh, this is one stick of butter. That goes in there too, and that's chilled. And what we're gonna do is we just want some soft crumbs to form. So let's just mix that real quick. There we go. Now we have our crumbly mixture here, and we're gonna add one tablespoon of milk to that, right on into the bowl, and then add one egg, and then another egg right after that. So mix them slowly. So go ahead and add that. Mix it around a little bit. And then add the other egg. So you're kind of like making a dough. So don't over mix it though. There we go. Now we have our dough mixture. And I've got one of those 8 inch baking pans. And I've sprayed it out with some of the butter spray. And I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So what we're going to do is put this batter down in the bottom of the pan and press it out to make the bottom crust. So I'm going to get that going and check back with you in just a moment. There we go. We push the dough out, kind of like a pizza to make the bottom crust. Now we're going to make the topping. So I'm going to set this aside. Next up, to make the topping, I've got two cups of sweetened coconut that it's here in this cup. And that's desiccated coconut for all you people watching across the pond in the caravan parks. But I've got that in a half stick of melted butter. I'm going to just pour that right into the coconut just like that. I also have two-thirds cups of um, actual granulated sugar. So I'm going to dump that right on in there. I'm going to give this a mix around so it's well mixed to make the topping that goes on top of the crust and jam um, actual layers on the bar. So I'll be right back. Okay, remember your crust? What we're going to do is take a half cup of seedless raspberry preserves and we're going to take that and put a layer of that right on top of that crust. So I've got that right here. I'm using the store brand. That was on sale. This time of year when all the kids are going back to school, that's when all the jellies and the jams are on sale. You can stock up on that and have this ready to go. 
So all I'm doing is just smoothing that out on top to make a layer of the raspberry jam right up there. Look at that, just spreading it all out. And I guess you could really change out the jam. You might leave a comment about what kind of jam you're going to use because this could really be changed out to your family's liking. But I've got that moved about on top there. Now we have our coconut mixture and we're just going to put this all on top of that evenly right up on top just like that. There we go. And now we're just going to put the spoon on top and smooth it out. There we go. A nice topping on that. And now we're going to pop it in our preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So set your timer. And there you have it, my raspberry coconut bars. Don't settle for a grocery store dessert. Make these at home and look at that crust. It's nice and brown and I can see it's nice and sugary too. And, and we've got that raspberry peeking through there. I just can't wait to try it. I'm, I'm through with talking about it. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, that is good. That crunchy coconut up on top makes the most outstanding crust and that raspberry really goes with that buttery crust and mmm, these are so good. Mmm, I'm going to finish all of this. Mmm. I hope you get a chance to make my raspberry coconut bars and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, add me on Google+. I'm there too. There'll be some more cooking shows right around the corner. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever it is. And of course, share this recipe with your friends so they don't drop you off at the grocery store to pick up a dessert. This is so much better. My raspberry coconut bars. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Blue eye shadow, watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun pride in the double wide.